So let's see the first question what they are saying. Your screen is not visible, sir. Just a second. I'm sharing once again. Now? Yes, yes. Yeah. So we are doing, there are some 83 questions in this section. Let's do some uh, half of that. The first question. So, Madingrad company manufactures a single electronic product called precision mix. OK. This unit is a batch. This unit is a batch density monitoring device. So they have given some description about it. Attached to large industrial mixing machines used in flour. OK. So we are not in, like uh, concerned with all that. Uh, so Madingrad company manufactures single electronic product called precision mix. This uh, unit is batch density monitoring device. So how much you make that they monitor attached to large industrial mixing machines used in flour, rubber, petroleum and uh, chemical manufacturing. Precision mix sells uh, for $900 per unit. This is the product what they are making. The following variable costs are incurred uh, to produce uh, each precision mix device, labor, material, overhead. OK, uh, these are all variable expenses and then marketing costs, then total variable expense are given. Madingrad's income tax is 40 percent and fixed cost is this. Expect for an operating loss incurred in the year of incorporation. The firm has been profitable over the last five years. Now what are they asking? Assume a 10 percent increase in annual fixed cost. They are saying that. Let's assume that the fixed cost has increased by. 10 percent, right? 10 percent, yes. So 6600000 into 1.1. <coughs> this is 10 percent. Uh, a 20 percent unit uh, 20 a 20 percent unit cost increase for direct labor. So you have to take direct labor and you have to increase 20 percent of that. So how much is the direct labor per unit? 180 right? So they are saying that it is increasing by 20 percent reduction in unit metal cost by 25 percent, right? With no change yes. in selling price. There is no change in selling price. Okay. Madden Grad companies break even point would increase decrease by how much they are asking. So first of all, what's the formula for break even point? Formula for break even point is what? There are two formulas for break even point. Break even point in unit and break even point in dollars. <coughs> Fixed cost by contribution per unit is break even point per unit. OK, if you want to find break even point in sales. Fixed cost by contribution per unit and contribution we can write as sales minus variable cost selling price per unit and variable cost per unit, correct? Yes. Sir. So if I write this sales minus variable cost per unit per unit into selling price that will give you a break even point in sales. Right, so we are concerned with break even point in units. So we will see the contribution now. Let us do one thing. Let us uh, increase the annual. Uh, let us increase the direct labor by 20 percent. So 180 into 1.20 and, and, and what is the contribution formula? Sales minus variable cost is contribution. contribution. Correct or wrong? Yes, sir. What is the contribution right now? 900 minus 600. Isn't it so? It is 300. Correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. Let us now change change the things and do a 180 into 1.20 and the metal cost. 240 into 0 0.75. Is it right? <coughs> Factory over it is this. Can you tell me what is that you're getting? first one. OK, this is 216. OK. 180. 180, 180, right? OK. Yes, sir. 
Seventy two lakh sixty thousand. Okay, so fixed cost by contribution. What's the break in party units? Twenty two thousand four not seven point four. Yeah, so we will keep it twenty two thousand four not seven. And uh, what was the break even point before? Uh, we have to find out the break even point before. So what was the fixed cost? Sixty six lakhs, right? Yes. What was the contribution? Three hundred. Can you tell me what was the break even point? Old break even. This is new break even point. Twenty-two thousand. Old break-even point. What's the difference? Twenty-two thousand four not seven minus twenty-two thousand. So four hundred and seven units. Yes. Right now we have uh, this many units. We have to produce more to break-even, right? Yes. So can you uh, will you, you want to note it down? Shall we move forward? I'll note it down. Please. Okay. This is a big chapter. So good, interesting questions. You can tell me. I'll scroll down. Can scroll it down, sir. Done. Let's do the next question. A company breaks even at an annual sales volume of seventy-five thousand. So sales required to break even is seventy-five thousand units. That means if you make these many units, that means if you sell these many units, you can break even, right? Okay. Yes. Annual actual annual sales volume was this much. So actual sales minus break-even sales. Okay. Okay. Right. We can see here there are like this at this point you can break even and they have produced this many. They have sold these many units. Correct or wrong? Yes. And the company reported operating income of this much. That means for extra twenty-five thousand sales number of units, two hundred thousand of operating income. Correct or wrong? Yes. Company breaks even at annual sales volume of this. That what do you mean by this? If you make seventy-five thousand units, it your income will be exactly zero. Zero. Yes. Five. No profit. No loss. 
no loss. But selling one lakh units, you are getting how much operating income? This much. That means for additional sales of twenty five thousand. Two hundred thousand. You made an additional income of two lakhs. Ah, so now what is the margin? Uh, what is the like operating income? Operating income is also called as so uh, contribution. See, uh, sales minus variable cost is contribution. Okay, sure. this is also called as PBIT at times, or also called as operating income. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, what is the unit contribution margin? Your operating income by number of units, right? Yes. That is the UCM, unit contribution margin. So, this is your operating income or contribution for extra number of units. So, per unit, how much is the contribution? Eight. Eight dollars. Right. Now they are asking us fixed cost. So, how will we how we will be making the fixed cost? The formula for break even point is fixed cost by contribution per unit. So break even point, break even point is at seventy five thousand. Seventy five. Yes. What is the fixed cost you have? We have to find out. Have to find out. Contribution. Yeah, per eight. unit is eight. Multiply. How much? Six lakhs. You want to note it down? Yes. Done. Yeah. Next question. Tell me the answer for this. Thank you. Break on quantity is defined as the volume of output of the revenues are equal to. Very simple total cost. Total revenue is equal to total cost. At this stage, we break, break even. Even. Right? Shall we move forward? Yes, sir. Next question. So this is a new question for you. First of all, you should know what is margin of safety. Okay. okay. Formula. <laughs> margin of safety is equal to just a second. So you have gone across all these concepts, right? You have written the notes also. So margin of safety is what? When you have budgeted something that you want to sell some X number of units, okay? okay. <clears throat> and uh, to break even, you have sold Y number of units. So if you are budgeted sales is more than your Break even sales. You have margin of safety. Margin of safety. Is it right? Yes. So it is the amount margin of safety is the see whatever you have budgeted. It is more than the break even, right? So okay. it is the amount by which sales can decline before losses occur. The, it yes. is the amount by which the sales can decline before losses occur. That means. This much is required. Actually, your break even sales should be less than your budgeted sales. You budgeted that you want to make a sales of one lakh. And you break you have break even at that means you for 80,000 90,000 worth of sales you have break even. So margin of safety is 10,000, right? You have this excess, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. So the selling price per case is $20. So a company manufactures cell phone cases. This is the selling price. Variable cost is this. Forecasted sales is this. Related costs are given below. Uh, these are the these are fixed expenses. Okay, 
and uh, what they are asking you what is the margin of safety right yes so at 20 dollars per uh, selling uh, per unit selling price and the forecasted or budgeted sales of 4 lakh how many units we would have sold divide how many units 20000 units right yes so you would have sold 20000 units or not hello yes sir this is the forecasted sales or budgeted sales and this is the selling price per unit so budgeted number of units what you need to sell is 20000 yes but then we will break see the break even sales. point yeah break even sales so <coughs> can you just add all of them yes One lakh sixty thousand. Yeah, because we don't have a variable cost, we have all fixed costs. So one lakh sixty thousand, right? Yes. So what is the break-even point formula? Fixed cost by contribution. contribution. So contribution is sales minus yeah ten. So how many units? Sixteen thousand units. Sixteen thousand. Yes. So this much units you need to sell to break even. So this is break even sales. Twenty thousand budget. This is budgeted sales. So budgeted sales. Twenty thousand minus sixteen thousand. So what is this? Four thousand. Margin of safety. safety. You want to note this down? Yes. Yeah. Then. Next question. They're asking break even sales in dollars. So I'm leaving this question on you. I'm waiting. You have to tell me the formulas. I'll write it down. Break even sales in dollars. Dollars. Okay. Fixed cost by contribution by sales minus variable cost into sales. But just a second, just a second. OK, hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, but the thing is we have that total fixed cost, right? Yeah. By total sales. 
टोटल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट माइनस टोटल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट सो दिस इज लाइक 20 20 राइट सेल्स मैनेजर 60 so break even point is uh, so we have to then we cannot find out this one so this is not working out but if we find out contribution margin per unit then what so we can do that also sales minus variable cost is contribution is it right yes sir so sales is Eight thousand twenty thousand. Ah. Contribution by sales, PV ratio. I am finding out PV ratio. There is one more formula. Maybe you remember in your graduation or post graduation days, fixed cost by PV ratio can also give you break even point in break even point, right? Okay. Break even point in sales direct formula. PV ratio is nothing but contribution by sales into hundred, right? <coughs> so contribution is what sales minus variable cost by sales into 100 so sales is 80000 minus variable cost is 20000 by sales 80000 into 100 can you tell me what is that 75 75 okay we will not take it in percentage Okay, no problem. Okay, what you got? Seventy-five percent, right? Yes. So what is that? Uh, uh, we have uh, <coughs> fixed cost, right? So Thirty thousand divided by zero point seven, or seventy-five percent. Can you tell me what's the answer? You'll get break-even point. Break-even sales. Thirty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Forty thousand. Yeah, please note it down. If we take total sales, total volume in formula, we are getting forty thousand on this. Sir. Total. Okay. Yeah. No this one you said. Yes, one. Yes, one. This one. Fixed or okay. total fixed cost. Total. Okay, then we can take up that one. Just a second. Ah, let's do this. Fixed cost is thirty thousand. Yeah, we can get it. Eighty thousand minus uh, twenty sixty. Twenty eighty. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. I thought of doing that only, but okay. Yeah. Even I am not well today. Yes. Here, here lot of uh, weather change in Kompalli. Yes, yes, sir, yes. It's too cold. In Kartik Kachiguda, I am having a different uh, climate here. I am having a different climate. My entire throat is like, uh, like it's it's like sore throat. I have. Yeah, it's yeah, what is it? Yeah. Yeah. Next one. I don't know this background sound. My like this, it will spoil the recording of the class. <laughs> yeah, this one. They are asking what they are asking. Question number six, right? Yeah. Yeah. Please go straight. Yeah. Based upon the information, the contribution margin for the company was. So you can do this. I'm waiting. What is the formula for contribution margin? Unit contribution margin by selling price. No, this this asking contribution margin, sales minus variable cost. If it is unit contribution margin, divide by number of units. Okay, sales minus variable. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Please go through this properly.
uh, this hell of distraction really. <sighs> So what are they asking? Data available for the current year presented below. Whole company division one, division two, and they're asking for for what? Based upon information presented, the contribution margin for the company. So I think they are asking for the company itself. So we have to skip the division. Yes. Uh, this thing and company is nothing but uh, it's like you know clubbing this two. We get the company. So sales is how much? Ten lakhs, right? What's the variable cost? Four lakhs, right? Four lakhs. What is the variable cost? Uh, okay. Based on the contribution, yeah. So this is six lakhs. They are asking contribution margin. So say six lakhs. Six lakhs is there? Yes. Just a second. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Variable cost is this also, right? Mm. 1.3. Yeah. Sales so can you... is 4 lakh. No, sales is 10 lakhs, net revenue. Net revenue. Less variable cost and variable administrator. What's the answer? See, now this question, I will give you some good Hello. amount of information. Hello. Hello. Can you hear? Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Information is there are two types of costing absorption costing. And there is like uh, variable costing or marginal costing. So here in absorption costing, you take. Uh, uh, what what would you take as product cost? Product cost. It's direct material here also product cost. You take direct material. Direct labor, direct labor. Here, fixed manufacturing overhead. Okay. Variable manufacturing overhead. Okay. Here only variable manufacturing overhead. Rest all here are period costs. Only fixed is. No, rest all like administ selling, administration, overheads mm -hmm. are all period cost. What are they? Period cost. Yeah. Here only these are the product costs. <clears throat> rest, fixed, manufacturing, overheads. These are all maybe fixed nature, fixed or variable. Or period cost. Or selling and administrative overheads. Whatever you have, any overhead, any indirect expenses, period cost. That means won't add to the product. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you a screenshot two minutes. Two minutes, huh?
two minutes, huh? I've sent it. Please check. Have you, uh, hello. Hello. Samrin, are you following? Hello. Hello. Yes, I got yeah. Yes, hello. Yeah, you can check this. Product cost has what what I've mentioned here. Direct material, direct labor, fixed manufacturing overheads, variable manufacturing overheads. OK, rest all our period cost. Here, direct material, direct labor, only variable, but all fixed nature cost, period cost, right? Why I'm mentioning yeah. this is, here they have given some information regarding variable selling and administrative overheads. Are you saying this? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, contribution is sales minus variable cost, but what, what kind of things we have? So, direct costing considers only variable cost as product cost. Direct costing yeah. is marginal costing, OK? And absorption costing treats both variable and manufacture uh, and fixed cost as product cost. Thus, variable costs are not stated separately. So uh, like uh, variable costs are not stated separately is nothing but uh, variable and they have given variable selling and administrative costs. <coughs> they did not mention what kind of costing we have to follow. So they are yes. saying that uh, in absorption, variable and fixed both are taken. OK, oh. so that two fixed cost of what kind fixed manufacturing overheads, right? Yeah. So yeah. here here we are not taking fixed. So we are following variable costing, correct? Yes. Marginal costing because mm -hmm. this CVP is all about marginal costing, not absorption costing. OK. So we are taking all the costs and uh, uh, like uh, re net revenue minus variable cost, variable COGS, OK, and uh, variable selling and administrative overheads. Yes, because they are not taking it separately, it seems, <coughs> and they are not showing any separation. So we have taken generally we should not take in both the cases. Uh, but uh, here. Uh, as I as I gave you the screenshot, uh, variable yeah. production overheads only are taken, and fixed production overheads plus selling and administrative expenses period are cost. all period cost. But they are specifically mentioning variable, so almost variable cost will be considering in this. Yes. Okay. It's a controversial thing, but things are not clear, so we are going as per the info. Okay. Okay. That's Shall we move forward? Yes. Do this question. Margin of safety. So budgeted sales minus break even sales is equal to margin of safety. Margin of safety. <coughs> Budgeted sales did they give? Yeah, five like ten thousand. They are selling it for eight fifty. So per unit, how much? Six hundred. Six hundred units, right? Yes. Yes. And uh, break even. Break even is what? Yes. Sales minus variable cost. 850, so 850 minus 350. 500. 500. This is contribution. Fixed cost is 145. Fixed cost by contribution <coughs> will give us break even. What is the break even? 290. Sorry? 290. 290. 600 minus 290 is your margin of safety. Margin of safety. Please go this. Oof. Yes, done. Yeah. 
actually i'm struggling a lot can we take up yes. in morning samrin yes sir of course yeah i'm on a holiday tomorrow so i can give you like morning session i can take up a two hours afternoon i can take up one hour yes, actually i am having very very like severe cold today yes i'm yeah, not able to see i'm just dragging it i'm not in an, a full <laughs> proper this thing to take up so but but no problem tomorrow we can do some uh, 43 questions in this okay okay so tomorrow morning or evening time after morning and afternoon both i can take i am on holiday okay. so okay. we can take either from 11 to 1 post lunch also from 2 to 3 we can target okay so 2 to 3 or 2 to 4 how much ever like we'll see 11 to 1 if we can take up and wind up this section this week we can uh, go for this and this also right yeah the, if this this is a major thing then after yeah, that one session 16 uh, 17 qu uh, 20 questions 20 questions it's done right yeah yes sir yeah and uh, just a second i i know we have done only seven questions i have a bigger task but tomorrow i will be like able to give it okay sir tomorrow will continue yeah and so yeah please tell investment decision answer sheet i want sir i have completed i will send okay and financial market and types of securities question test okay no yes, financial sir. markets and financing is there right valuation methods and cost of capital working capital is also there so after cvp also we have tasks to do okay, okay. but uh, not that major we can finish soon okay did we, we do did financial, financial markets and uh, uh, types of securities we did financial markets also done yeah done okay then what then valuation okay. working capital cvp four topics are there we can do but tomorrow no tomorrow however i'll try to see i'll try to make up this okay 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 sir 11 is okay right yes sir yes 11 or 11 100% i will take up okay 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 son thank you thank you thank you thank you